So we're here with Sukinda Singh, Alex here distilled us. Welcome to Germany, welcome to the Bruder Whisky House. And you brought, brought us some really interesting bottles, the Macbeth collection. Can you tell us a thing, something about that? All right, sure. So yeah, I'm Sukinda Singh, one of the co-founders of Alexa Distillers. So many of you know in my previous life, I was one of the co-founders of the Whiskey Exchange. We ran this for nearly 25 years. Uh, now I'm transitioning more into Elixir Distillers. So as part of Elixir Distillers, we are blenders, bottlers, and now distillers. So in December, we bought Tormo Distillery, and we are building a distillery on Isla, which we hope will be ready and distilling around end of next year. So as part of our um, philosophy of finding casks, blending, bottling, um, of course, we look for, you know, interesting concepts. And one of my dear friends, uh, Lexi Burgess, came to me saying that he had an idea, a vision to create a range of whiskies using the uh, Macbeth, Macbeth play from Shakespeare. And that he also had a very good uh, friendship with Sir Quentin Blake, a very famous artist, and that he would, had this vision to put the two together and some amazing whiskies. And this is really where we came in. So initially, um, you know, we had a lot of thinking of how this project would work. And then, you know, we went away um, once we had a brief from um, our other colleague, Mr. Dave Broom. So Dave took the characters and he, de he depicted the style of whiskey he felt would be suitable for each character, yeah? Which is actually a very unique thing because normally, you know, you just find a nice bottle, you put a nice label on it and this is it. So we actually did it in, in reverse. We had a character, we had a style that Dave believed that, you know, this, this character should represent. So, you know, if it was a character which was like evil um, and dark, then we needed like, um, an Isla whiskey or a peated dirty whiskey or smoky whiskey, uh, maybe even a, a sherry Isla whiskey or a sherry peated whiskey. So this is how we worked. So we had a brief, we went away into our stocks, into our archives. We looked at what we had and some whiskies fitted the characters perfectly, but in other cases, the whiskies were not quite right. They were like, you know, too clean or too pretty, whereas the character was a little bit more, had a maybe, as I said, a darker side. So this project has taken us a long time, nearly, I would say three years, because we then looked at our stock. We, in some cases, recast. We had to go away and find other stock which suited some of the characters. And then also what we did was in our own stock profile, we have the same whiskey in different types of wood. So we have some refill bourbon, we have some first fill bourbon, we have some refill sherry, we have some first fill sherry, or we have some wine casks. So for us, it was taking all the flavors from these different um, whiskies and these casks, blending or marrying them together to create a flavor profile that we were looking for. So it took us a long time to do this. But I think really, I'm very, very excited. I'm very happy. This is probably the most exciting project I've ever worked on. And, you know, when you look at the products, they're beautiful. They're very, very pretty. But I think what is special is it's not just pretty pictures on a bottle. The whiskeys are all fantastic. They really are. And today in our tasting, we will be able to try and see. So I think it was a very interesting project. Um, altogether, I believe there's just over 40 characters in the Macbeth play. So we just took, you know, one or two characters from each of the, um, um, we could say hierarchy or the type of characters. So what we classify them as, we have the lead characters, we have the earls and thanes, we have the witches, we have the murderers and we have the households. So we, we just looked at how they, they split up and then chose profile in terms of different ages for those whiskies. So, for example, households are anywhere between 8 and 15 years of age. 
price point, maybe 60, 70 pounds up to 120 pounds, um, et cetera, et cetera, going up to, of course, the lead characters, which are approximately 10,000 pounds a bottle, but you're talking about very old whiskies, you know, 40 year old plus. Um, I think what's really nice about it, you know, some people say, oh, I cannot collect the whole series. It's not about collecting the whole series. Actually, you can collect a, um, a level. So you can collect just 10 households. Yeah, beautiful. So, so I think it's a, it's a very nice project. Um, as I said, for me, it's one of the only projects um, I've seen or, 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 or series that I've seen where I think everything fits together beautifully. You have a beautiful design, you have beautiful art, and you have beautiful whiskies. You know, it's, it's become quite trendy nowadays that to have a lot of, you know, art on labels, very heavily designed labels, which is nice. But I, I think there's something extra here, you know, bringing the Macbeth play and, and understanding the characters and, and trying to compare them to the whiskies. You know, will they work for everybody? Probably no. But in all, I think everyone who's tried so far just says, wow, that's amazing. So, Kinder, thank you very much for your time Pleasure. and a lot of good runs in the last masterclass. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you.